Hi guys, Bob for Bob's Movie Review here, and today I wanted to go over with you guys the new August 2016 Blu-ray releases on Blu-ray.com. Let's see, so the first week here, August 2nd, I haven't heard of any of these. The Titanic! Mini series, huh? Meet the Blacks. I think that one was in theaters. Uh, not really interested in it. He stars Mike Epps. Oh, Keanu. That's that uh, Key and Peele movie. I really don't know a whole lot about it. Friends, Jordan Peele and Keegan-Michael Key hatch a plot to retrieve a stolen cat by posing as drug dealers for a street gang. This one might be good. Uh, it's got a 6.6 .6 rating, it looks like. <laughs> I, can't, I can't not laugh looking at that cat. I don't plan on picking it up, though. Um, we have Batman the Killing Joke. Everybody's been saying this one's really good. It's an animated... Um, and it's rated R, which I guess they never are rated R. Um, if you guys missed the video, Target will have an exclusive steelbook, but for whatever reason they're not taking pre-orders. Uh, it looks like you just have to try to go in the store and get it. And those usually sell out quick, so um, if you want that, I definitely plan on being there early Tuesday morning. Um, the Lobster. I just saw the preview for this the other day. It actually looked pretty, pretty interesting. Colin Farrell. And Rachel Wise? I'm not sure how you say that. Uh, a love story set in a dystopian near future where single people are arrested and transferred to a creepy hotel. There, they're obligated to find a match within 45 days. If they fail, they are transformed into an animal and released into the woods. So, um, it also has John C. Riley, so of course I have to watch it. Um, I couldn't remember who that was when I saw the trailer. I was like, I know it's Colin something, but who is it? It's Colin Farrell. It's called The Lobster because um, you have to choose which animal you'll become, and he chooses the lobster. So, um, I don't know. It's kind of It kind of looks a little strange, and I don't, I don't know what to expect exactly out of it or how good it'll be, but I definitely would like to check it out. Uh, not positive whether or not I'll get that on, on Tuesday. Um, the Bronze is a, like an Olympic comedy type thing. Uh, it stars Melissa Ryan. Is it Ranch or Ranch? I'm not sure. I guess it would have to be Ranch, huh? Melissa Ranch. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, you know, she's well known for being in um, The Big Bang Theory. Um, I've already pre ordered this one. I knew my wife would like to see it with her being in it. A foul mouthed former gymnastics bronze medalist must fight for her local celebrity status when a new young athlete's star rises in town so um yeah i'll definitely have that one i'll probably have that unboxing up for you guys on wednesday um, just because usually my amazon deliveries get here too late for me to uh, do unboxings on tuesday that one could be good i don't know um looks like about it for that week and then uh, the next week would be august 9th see anybody heard of any of these i don't know what this is uh, a, a hologram for the king it has tom hanks a failed american businessman looks to recoup his losses by traveling to saudi arabia and selling his idea to a wealthy monarch i don't know has anybody seen this one could be interesting uh, of course tom hanks rarely disappoints and there's a pretty low pre-order price on that too i might jump on that pre-order um, 4Ks of Lucy. I don't know. People like Lucy. I hated Lucy. I thought it was terrible. It didn't even make any sense. Like, they just kept breaking their own rules, and it's like... I think what I hated the most is, like, they had where she could just control everything. Like, take, for instance, that scene where she's driving through all the traffic, and she's just, like, crashing into everyone. Well, she could control everyone. Why didn't she just get them to move out of her way? Like, I don't know. Lone, Sur Lone Survivor? I don't remember if I ever saw that one with Mark Wahlberg, where he's, like, a Marine or something. Some sort of army armed forces uh oblivion in 4k i never saw that one tom cruise again also rarely disappoints um i never did get around to seeing that one though 
And I mean, uh, that looks like it for that week, really. Uh, we do have the WWE Attitude Era Unleashed Volume 3. I know I got a few WWE fans uh, follow my channel. The Tiger? I don't know. Just none of these really are jumping out to me. I don't even have any info on it. There it is. Oh, it's a foreign movie. So, let's see. Was there anything that week I wanted? There's nothing. Scooby Doo, uh, WWE Curse of the Speed Demon. That could be cool. Love Scooby Doo. But I probably won't even pick up anything that week, to be honest. Bunker of the Dead. <laughs> All right, and then, uh, let's see. So August sixteenth, we have God's Not Dead Two. Never saw the first one. Uh, Raiders: The Real Story of the Greatest uh, of the Greatest Film Ever Made. I mean, just again, nothing is really sticking out to me. Um, that's something I need to pick up. Great Outdoors, great movie. The Burbs, I'm not sure if I've seen that one. Definitely seen Money Pit, that's another good one. Um, Tom Hanks movies, you got season two of Gotham. I still haven't got around to watch season one. Um, I don't know what that stuff is. All right, so the 23rd, uh, we have The Ash vs. Evil Dead, the complete first season. This will also have, um, a metal pack at Best Buy. I'll be doing a video on that soon. It's already recorded. I just gotta put it up for you guys. Um, I, I don't know. Russell Crowe. Does anybody want to see Russell Crowe at all? Like, I don't think they do. Private Eye investigates the apparent suicide of a fading porn star in 1970s Los Angeles and uncovers a conspiracy. What kind of movie is this even? Is this supposed to be a comedy? I don't know where they have the genres on here, if they do. I don't know. It's not something I'm interested in seeing. Russell Crowe is terrible. <laughs> um, the Walking Dead. The complete sixth season. Who's going to have... Oh, Target will have the Steelbook version. What's this? DC Legends of Tomorrow, the complete first season. Some of you might be interested in that. Uh, Huntsman Winter's War. And it looks like, um, it's going to be in 4K as well, but it looks like uh, Best Buy is actually going to have their first 4K steelbook. Because they have uh, Huntsman listed as both a 4K steel. this is the steelbook version for the Blu-ray, and then they have the 4K steelbook. Uh, current pre-order price is 30 I wouldn't expect that to come down, but uh, definitely be cool. I'll definitely have to order that, I need to get on that actually. I have a 4K steelbook. What? 6.2 rating. Um, there's that Ash versus Evil Dead metal pack. I'm also going to put uh, Snow White and the Huntsman on 4K. Let's see what the price is on that. $40? Psh, I'm sure it's coming down. There's our steelbooks right there. Um, it's the Best Buy exclusive. What, are they, what does Best Buy have exclusive on their... Uh, Walking Dead. Is it a lenticular? Yeah, lenticular. That's a cool looking cover. Um, oh, Walmart's going to have 30 minutes of exclusive bonus content. And it looks like exclusive artwork. Let's see, they're kind of all grouped up there. I think it's the background at least is different. Um, oh, Target's gonna have Digibook. When was that date? The 23rd? Alright, so then the 30th, the last week, we'll have the Jungle Book live animation. Pretty cool. Um, Arrow, fourth season. I can't imagine they're only having one version of the Jungle Book. Yeah, why didn't it show those ones? 
they're gonna have uh, the 2D version with uh, Blu-ray and DVD. Well, they're gonna be a steel book. Hmm. We don't really get Disney steel books here, and then the uh, 3D. 3D version, it looks like they don't really have all the info yet on that. It says no release date, but I assume it would be the same. So, just to recap once again what we're going to have, what I'm going to get. Um, let me get back to that. Alright. Okay, first week. Mostly all crap. Keanu might be interesting. I don't know. I won't pick it up right away. Uh, Batman the Killing Joke. Definitely picking that up. If I don't get the Steelbook version, um, i probably just pick up the regular version. Honestly. Um, also, the Lobster is a maybe. I guess it depends on the, the price, I think, for me. And like I said, I've already pre-ordered bron the, uh, the Bronze. So I should have two or three unboxings for you that first week. Um, the second week, a hologram for the king is a maybe. Other than that, not no interest in that stuff. Uh, the third week, I think nothing. And the fourth week, uh, I will be getting Ash versus Evil Dead and Huntsman Winter's War. So I should have those unboxings up for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope this video helped you guys out. If you like, oh, I forgot we got the Angry Birds. Oh, Angry Birds 4K and 3D. So this will be the first 4K 3D combo pack. Um, yeah, I missed that one. Sorry, guys. Um, but I would love to hear what movies you guys are interested in, which ones you guys liked, which you guys are picking up this month. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you guys next time.